Welcome back. So today um, we will continue doing this. This part. It's not that hard. It's, it's, it's actually pretty okay. Now, shift A, another plane. Rotate it. X direction 90. Line it there. This part hopefully should be easier because there aren't any anything weird going on. Turn on the X-ray. All right, now we're gonna do this round part, you see, right? This round part, it's quite easy. You just um, select all, extrude it first. By the way, is it lined up properly? Yeah, it should be fine. E, Y, is it Y? Yep. There. Now the round part, um, you put a loop cut. Now select the top edges. Put on, put off the X-ray mode. Click C. Click two. Well, if you're in C mode, you cannot click any. Oh, yeah. So, so apart from selecting things, you cannot click any of the the hot keys. Escape mode. Escape mode. Click two. So the edges are selected. C. Oh no, actually, you need vertices, right? C. Down. Check, you don't. Yep, it's all good. Select the parts that you want, and. There you go. Yeah, we'll, we'll, um, we'll just check the height later. But for now, it looks like. Okay, look, so if this is one, it looks like. Just maybe a little bit half, like. Like a bit more than half, right? The proportions of these two. Let's look at that. So, you know. Maybe slightly more. Yeah, that should be fine. Now, I'll put a subsurf modifier. I don't want to look at that ugly thing. Let's put it in quick. Um, it's still ugly. But, um, so, okay, so same trick. You know where to put the, the, the loop cuts in. This is the flat part, so this flat part. Flat it out. Uh, flatten this part out. And flatten the, the front part out as well. Select the faces. Two. There. And the back part as well. Okay, so okay, so the, the the bottom part as well. So hide this for now. So you can look at it. Three, three. Yeah, this doesn't need to be flat. Control R. Okay, apparently it's gonna make it flat as well. Alter H. Oops. Go to Alter H and get back out. See, these are like, like I don't like these. Just like turn it off, like turn this on, turn this more, and um, yeah, it should usually solve the problem. All right. Now, if it's too high, sometimes the computer can crash. Things like that. Oh, don't forget to save. Don't forget to save. Um, gun tutorial. It's always like Blender is is it's a really good um, software, but it does 
sometimes it crashes so it's always a good idea to save now we're gonna do this part you see this round part um, it's quite easy just just take a cylinder take a cylinder and um, yep there you go I think like you can see the edges so just like increase the vertices too much we can always put a subsurf or, or just shade it smooth later on if we're not happy but 90 That actually looks cool. It looks like a. That's one of the great things about 3D modeling. As you model, you can see your final output. Okay, so we want to delete this part because delete vertices because you want it to be straight, right? It goes like straight up. Um, so select this, select it, yeah, extrude it up. Yeah, don't worry about overshooting because Blender does a good job of blending different um, 3D parts in. So it should be fine. Again, it's too big. All right, so for okay, so for um, like I don't know what size it should be, right? So I'm gonna leave this for now, and then I'm going to go ahead and mod I'm gonna bring back this. I'm gonna go ahead and model this thing out first, and then I can line this this two thing with that, you know. So I'm gonna line. Uh, I'm going to model the front nozzle. The shape of the nozzle, yeah. Alright. Alright. Um, I'm going to use the mirror modifier now. So I'm going to delete this. I hope you can see this. I'm going to go ahead and put the mirror modifier. Can't find it. There you go. Not on the X, but on the Y. Uh, I hope you can see it. It's right there. And and put clipping on. I'll show you the difference between this off and this on. So I take this and look, it overshoots. I don't want that. I put this on. Boom. It doesn't overshoot. It connects. This is what I want. Right. Now you can see this is an arc, so don't go way over here. It's just you have to do this part and this part. So just go per arc, per arc. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to put it. Now three, you can see, might be a bit too less. Don't do four, cause do do the the odd numbers. Because if you do four, I'll show you. If you do four, where is the middle part? This one's gonna be too close to this side. This one's gonna be too close to that side. No, it's no good. Not good. Odd numbers. This is on. It doesn't. Oh, okay. So this it, it it basically lines it up perfectly. But I I like to do it manually as well. It depends on like how how much of a professionist you are. Which exact which not it's not really a good thing. You know, if you're way too much, if you're way too much of an of a perfectionist. You you never get things done. That's what I've learned. Like like nothing will ever be like no piece that I do will ever be finished. <laughs> right. Um, so you want to make this a face, select all the vertices, click F. There it is, it's a face. The scale is good, everything's good. I can use this as a reference. This I don't need anymore. I hit it. Although I could have deleted it. 
Um, let's line it up. Okay, you see? It's not, it's not. So, see? So that's why I didn't want to do too much details on this, because you're going to have to redo it again, you know? Like, re, re, realign it when it actually happens. So look, this is not perfectly aligned. We'll increase it a little bit. There you go. So let's do that quickly. Click two, click all of them. Oh, that's not good. Click one. C. Boom. Yep. Now just keep on increasing until about there. Yeah. And I'm thinking we need one here. Yeah, let's do this first. Wait, wait. Let's, I'm thinking one here and one there. Keep it there. And I wanna select these. There you go. And align it. Don't align the points now. Align, align where the mesh is. Because you can see there's a small difference. Align where the mesh is. There you go. axes try to try to like whenever you whenever you're moving things try to move it along an axis because you might think you're doing something but you're doing something else like you might think you're moving it somewhere but blender thinks you're doing something okay so for example like if i do this so say i want to move this way right along this axis so i go whoop. i think it's moving this way but look at the mesh so if like, if it weren't for the mesh, I would have thought the, the vertices is going that way, but if I do this, you can see it's actually moving this way. The best way, if you want to go that way, just go G, X, there you go. Right. So use the X's as much as possible to make it as accurate as possible most of the time.